what's up guys welcome back to the channel so today is a pretty cool day we actually get to start on this our k-series miata swap uh, race car if you will um the young young kid that drives this car is ready for an upgrade so we're gonna pull this uh miata motor out and swap in a k-series but uh before we pull this thing out we're gonna go ahead and do a compression test on the cylinder leak down test so that way uh, if anybody's interested in buying this motor, uh, we'll be able to give them the results on the, uh, the health of this engine. So. Alright guys, so the time has come. John's got the motor all disconnected. We're going to start lifting the motor on out. There you have it. It is out. All right, guys. Now that John has shut the f up, so <laughs> here's our uh, our K series on the stand. So we're gonna start tearing this thing down, getting everything ready for all of these goodies. So here is the swap kit all the parts so clutch and flywheel adapter the oil pump windage tray and k tuned intake manifold yeah. billet uh, timing covers water port relocation clutch stuff And then the uh, Miata swap pan, the oil pan, pickup tube, upgraded throttle body, starter, and all the hardware necessary to get this K-Series inside the Miata. Also, they come with new mounts and everything as well. So. We'll go ahead and start tearing the motor down and start getting these uh, parts swapped onto the engine. I'm All right, guys, as you can see, uh, we've got the pickup tube on, the new windows tray that's been modified, the K tuned housing for the oil pump, and we've got the motor all the time. I know it's upside down, but we're about to put the pan on it. So. All that stuff's been changed out for the swap, and now we're gonna go ahead and get the pan seated on. Now we got the pan on, and the uh, the adapter plates to the block for the motor mounts are now on there. We're actually currently waiting on um, a pulse spring for here, and we gotta change one on the back side on the exhaust cam. But, so in the meantime, we went ahead and got uh, the motor mounts on, pans on, and uh, pretty soon we'll go ahead and get the other side of the mounts onto the K-frame, or the K-member here, the subframe, and then go ahead and get the uh, clutch master cylinder installed. Hole for the starter, um, the Miata transmission is actually in the way. So what we have to do is, um, mark on the transmission there's a spot where you have to actually notch a good portion of the transmission bell housing back uh, to make room for the starter so that's what john is prepping to do right here
So there has been some progress made on our K-Series swap lately. Um, we finally got our engine harness in, so we started plumbing that up. Got our uh, throttle cable on and working. Uh, we still got quite a few things to line out. Um, we did get the downpipe situated. It's not on the car. Um, we got to trim one more piece up. But we got that situated. Uh, waiting on the coal packs to show up. And yeah, moving right along. We still got to make the coolant lines and stuff, but uh, man, this thing looks great. I'm very excited to get this thing on the dyno and uh, make some pow pow in this Miata. As you can see, guys, we made some more headway on the uh, K series swap. Got the downpipe connected. We'll get our Y band and our uh, O2 sensor in there shortly. And we've got uh, the vast majority of our sensors plugged in now. The uh, pull packs are plugged in, ground straps are grounded, injectors, alternator, starter. Map sensor, idle air control valve, so got a few more things to figure out. We still need to get a TPS um, and then run our wiring inside the cabin, but uh, just getting closer and closer. Alright guys, as you can see, John and I have got uh, quite a bit more done with this thing. We're realistically only lacking a few more things you know we've got pretty much all the sensors wired up and working and mind you a lot of the stuff is not finalized yet we still got some of the Miata harness uh, that we're gonna delete and take out of here and uh, we've still got to build an intake for it but uh, it's getting real close so close in fact I've actually hooked my laptop up and kinda put a base map in it at least enough for it to run um, so, uh, let's see if we can't get this thing to bust off. Uh, reach in here. Yeah. Turn the power on. Neutral safety check. Use the pump. Now it's dead. <laughs> it still needs a lot more, but uh, after all the work that we've done, it's definitely a good sign that we got. Uh, we're heading in the right direction with this thing. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up a few more things, tidy up a few more things, and then uh, we'll probably get it on the dyno, or we may get the exhaust finished first. I'm not sure. But uh, I don't know if you guys have seen that yet. The pressure regulator. But uh, it's exciting. We're getting very close to hitting the dyno with the K Series Miata. Alright, guys, the time has come. We got the Miata strapped down on the dyno. Now, spoiler alert uh, I've already been working on it some. But uh, we are right there. We are close to being done on the tune. Um, as you can see, our little intake setup on it. We don't have the filter on it yet, but uh, we cut out the fender so that we can put a, put a nice little filter on it. Uh, let's see. It's just been tidied up. I mean, everything's there. It's all working. Um, you see the fuel pressure regulator. Got that. All the coolant lines. I mean, everything's pretty well tidied up. Uh, we still have to do a little bit of work on the exhaust. But for the most part, 
that's all taken care of as well. So I'll go ahead and fire this thing up, make a couple pulls, so you guys can hear this thing scream. Alright guys, there you have it. 201 horsepower, 180.5 foot pounds of torque. Pretty happy with this thing, looks pretty good. It's crazy. The uh, the power change, you know, pulling out that Miata motor and putting in this K, you know, it makes I mean damn near damn near 100 horsepower gain with the motor change given the swaps not cheap but uh, man it sure does look good sound good this thing revving to eight grand it's gonna be a whole nother monster out on the track be giving them stock motor Miatas a uh, something to chase down but uh, I think for the most part that's gonna wrap it up on the K-Series Miata um, Probably at the end of this video, I'll put some some beauty shots and uh, maybe some sounds when we get the full exhaust on it with the muffler. Um, you know, it is full three inch right now, and it and it goes all the way to the back tire there. But uh, we still have to go a little bit further with the muffler. Just certain tracks, it can't be that loud. So it's a straight through design muffler, so it's not going to change the tune at all. But uh, it'll just soften it down, quiet it down a little bit, get get some of that rasp out of the way. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this video. Like, share, subscribe. Leave a little comment down in the comment section down below, and tell us what you thought of the K Series Miata swap. We will see you guys on the next video. Peace.